Frame and panel doors add an attractive, professional look to any project. You might think you need a lot of fancy woodworking tools to create them, but we can show you how using DIY tools. First, assemble the door rails and styles using pocket hole joinery to create a strong frame. Then you can add a panel made from quarter inch thick plywood. You'll see though that the panel is larger than the opening in the door frame. So, how do you fit the panel in? You can do that by creating a square notch called a rabbit all the way around the inside of the frame. You can make the rabbit using a router and a rabbiting bit. The bit has a bearing that will follow the edge of the frame while the bit cuts a square notch. The rabbit needs to be about a half inch deep, which is really too much to cut all at once. So you'll start by cutting just part of the depth. Set the bit to partial depth and make your way around the frame clockwise. As you work, hold the router so the bearing on the bit rides against the inside edge of the frame. Then set the bit to full depth and make another pass. You can see that the panel now fits into the rabbit, but the bit leaves rounded corners that won't allow the panel to go completely in. So next, you'll square up the corners using a chisel and a hammer. First, tap to outline the corner shape. Then, work your way down by tapping and then paring out the waist. It only takes a few minutes to do the door. With the corners squared up, the panel will drop right in. Now to hold it in place, make stops from pieces of quarter inch square dowel. Once the stops are glued in, you can see that you'll have a great looking frame and panel door, all made with DIY tools and techniques.